Hello. This is the first in a series of demos dealing with software quality. In the first demo, we will take a new requirement for our auction application and modify the requirements document using Rational Requisite Pro. In the second demo, we will modify our current test plan to specify a new test case to test this requirement using Rational ClearQuest Test Management. In the third demo, we will implement this new test case as an automated test script created using the Rational Functional Tester. In the fourth, we will look at the manual process of functional testing by creating and executing a script created by the Rational Manual Tester. In the fifth demo, we will take the automated test script we created, link it back to the test case, and then add it to a test schedule, execute it, and report a defect using ClearQuest Test Management. In the sixth demo, we will see how to extend our automated test script by adding custom code. And in the seventh demo, we will create a performance test script using Rational Performance Tester, add it to a performance schedule, and then test the auction application for performance. Before we start looking at the testing tools, let's take a look at the application we'll use for testing. The application we'll be using is called the Auction Application. It's an important showcase application that is used in a number of the other rational demonstrations and tutorials. It's a simple application for auctioning items for sale, for instance flowers. Here, we can purchase flowers such as tulips. In this page, we can enter a bid for the tulips. A new requirement for the application is that it provides an alternative purchasing mechanism that lets a customer enter a bid and ask to purchase the item right away. It's called the Buy It Now function. Let's go back and modify the project elements to respond to this new requirement. Except for the manual functional demo and the performance test demo, we'll use a version of the Rational Software Development Platform that has all of our testing tools embedded. First, Let's take a quick tour of some of the key parts of the software development platform. As you can see from the tabs to the right, we have quick access to the tools or Eclipse plugins that we'll be using in testing. Each one of these tabs will take us to a perspective for that tool. The term perspective is a key Eclipse term. It just means that we get a collection of views, the panels on the work surface, that are best suited for working in a particular role such as test management, defect tracking, or test creation. For convenience, we put the perspectives we'll be using the most as tabs. However, there are a number of other perspectives that are, are available as well. To see the available perspectives, we use the Window menu and the Open Perspective. Eclipse is a powerful tools framework that can integrate all development tools promoting integration and communication within a development team. In this instance, we have perspectives for doing C++ programming, database access and manipulation, J2E programming, and modeling, to name a few. All of the perspectives comes with a default layout of views. Any perspective can be customized by adding other views to it which might be useful for the current task. To access the available views, we do this from the Windows menu. The views are organized by major functional types. Any one of the views for Java, for instance, can be added to our current perspective if desired. Another important feature of the tool is the embedded help capabilities. Help can range from task-specific help, such as tips and tricks, to overall process guidance. If you're new to the tool, or starting to use a new feature, the tutorial section is a good place to learn from. There are four types of tutorials to choose from. Our first task is to modify a requirements document with the new Buy It Now functionality. We can do that from the requirements perspective. We'll use the Requirements Explorer view to open up the requirements held in Requisite Pro for the auction application. We start by expanding the auction requirement tree. This gives us a view into all of the auction application requirements maintained by Requisite Pro. 
For demonstration purposes, we will show this linkage in a simple manner by modifying the affected use case only. The use case that has been affected is called Bid on Item. To get access to the Microsoft Word document that contains this use case, we right-click and use the context menu for the use case. This action starts Requisite Pro and brings up the Microsoft Word document. Notice that Requisite Pro has been integrated into Microsoft Word. This gives you both a hierarchical view through the Requisite Pro and a document view. We'll start by making some white space for the new requirement. The use case we want is 1.2.1 bid. For demonstration purposes, we are simplifying the changes as it would normally be done for a requirements document. We will note the new requirement by appending the Buy It Now option in the description of the bidding options and then entering the description of the new requirement. To add our new requirement to the Requisite Pro database, we use the Requisite Pro menu. A property sheet appears for the new requirement. We give a short name for our requirement. Here we can associate this requirement with specific revisions. We can change some of the attributes. We'll set the priority for this requirement to high. In the traceability tab, we can associate this requirement with features or other change requests. Our function, Buy It Now, is a specialized type of bid. Here, in the Hierarchy tab, we can indicate this by making it a child of Use Case 1.2 bid. Our new use case has been captured and is in a pending state until we save the document. We save the document using the Requisite Pro menu so that the document is saved and the changes are committed. By saving the document, we update the Requisite Pro Requirements database and then we can close Microsoft Word and Requisite Pro. The save operation asks me to log a reason for the change. We are done with Requisite Pro, so we can close it. This ends the demo. In the next demo, we will respond to this new requirement addition by creating and configuring a new test case using ClearQuest Test Management.